just had a problem with it and it just fell right into place. Just begin screwing that in and it should pretty much find its place. Make sure that you do your first one loose because you want to be able to move still so that way you can make sure that all your screws are adjusted and in place. Go ahead and let that screw right there go ahead and fall in. Start screwing. See that managed to find its place pretty fast. Now we're all set. After just two screws, it's automatically going to line your board up. Your board's going to be perfectly aligned and ready for installation. So I'm just going to finish up some of these screws. Alright, now for an easy step and actually a most common upgrade on any computer. So like if you go to upgrade your computer, even watching this video would be helpful because this is an extremely common upgrade. This is the RAM. Super easy. All you do is slide in your slots, bring up your sides a little bit, apply pressure, and wait for them to snap into place. Make sure, I mean, even if you hear them snap once, you got to make sure that these little, little tiny pieces clip into the, I'll show you on this one. Got to make sure they clip into these little slots right here. Sorry, I'm bleeding. I cut myself when I had the video off. I mean, it's simple. Look at this. There you go. Installed right there. Super easy. No problem at all. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start going around and looking at some of your fans. See, we got this fan right here. We're going to need to plug this fan into something. Now, okay. I, oh, here's one right here. There's a good fan spot. There I do. Oh, I actually know. I can't plug it into that one. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm take this cord and hold on a second. Alright, I'll take this cord. I'm just going to connect it to this. This is this is just a coax adapter. Mostly you just want to do these on fans that are running for the outside. All I'm going to do is for now, run this into the back of here. That's all I'm going to do right now is just run this into the back. Actually, yeah, just run this right into the back through here. Just like that. Because I can't, I can't reach any of my fans that are close over here. So what we'll do, okay look, found another fan. Easy. All I do is plug that in right there. Make sure like later on like clip this wire together like that so that way you don't get as much wires all over the place so it's a little better air. And then uh, just take all your fans just like that and install them. Look here's another fan right here and just search for a little small three pin three pin spot if you can't find them yourself they are in the motherboard manual run that back in through here now you're going to want to install your graphics card. The one thing that makes your system run so beautifully on your monitor, whatever size you got it. Most of you probably will not have this good of a graphics card, but this right here is my baby. I've raised it since it was a little pup. I got this in the mail thanks to Randy. What's up? Let's go ahead and install this. What you're going to want to do, this is USB 2.0, so you're going to want to install it in a USB 2.0 slot. Now, look here. Okay. Now, this is a thumb screw right here. But you can also use a regular screwdriver. I intend to use a small one. Let's go ahead and 
So you look right here, you go over it, and then you look at the one right to the left. Maybe if we get that up. Yeah, I get that up on a thumb. This is a thumb. You're, sometimes they tie them too tight. So you may have to use a screwdriver. But, um, yeah, see? And right here, you gotta use a screwdriver on it. There you go. Just barely loosen it up. It's ready to go. I do. Let's pop these babies off. Save these for later in case you switch graphics cards and you need to put them back on there. So uh, let's go ahead and set these thumb screws to the side because we're going to use them after we install this. Alright, go ahead and sit this baby right down into position. Just pop it right down in there. Use your thumb screws to get it in. Alright, now what we do from here is an extremely quick and easy step. Connect the 24 pin to the motherboard. This is an extremely easy step. And then you connect the then you connect the 24 pin to the top. You can do this however you like. For this example, I'll just attach it just like that. This is the top of the motherboard just for that. But uh, I'm gonna go through and fix it here in a second. Now all that's left, in this example I'm using a SATA hard drive. So right here, this is the SATA cable and then this is the SATA power cable. Also you have an optional coax power cable that you can use, which is what the old computers use and stuff like that. This is the coax cable right here, you can connect it there. But I personally, right now, would suggest that you use the SATA. So let's go ahead and pull this SATA one right out of here and uh, this is going to go on the bottom so I'm going to use this this right here is the power cable first I'll make sure that it's going to match up see I just started to put that on wrong Simply slides right into place. And then, what you can't see, but it doesn't matter because you should already have an idea. Let's take this go ahead and give it a bend. And it's just a drive bay. It's just a simple, we'll just put it in drive bay. But what I'm going to show you why this is outside of the bay is the SATA cable right here. SATA cable. Both ends of this are SATA cable. This is just a little bit better for when you use a hard drive. Here's the SATA cable. You can find any port on your PC and plug it into it. It's fine. So uh, make sure they match up once again. Take this, plug it right in the back, just like that, and your hard drive's installed. Just slide.